Hey, Cardholics. This is uh, Cardholic here. Just wanted to share today. Um, I just wanted to share my uh, top collection of baseball cards. Even though uh, my collection is not that impressive. I uh, just wanted to share and see if uh, you guys have similar cards. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of restarting my journey. Just the same way a lot of people have been doing. Uh, this past year, 2020, and uh, actually I started my collection back in 19, 2019, but um, yeah, it started picking up around 2020, so just wanted to share my top 35 baseball cards, and uh, you know, just update you uh, periodically to see uh, the maturity of my collection, you know, so most of my cards are from the, the Junk Wax era. So, late 80s to er, late 90s. So, just wanted to show you guys exactly what's in my collection. Yeah, this isn't necessarily in any, uh, any sort of order until we hit the last like five cards. So, here goes number 30 Eric Davis. I think this is a rookie card. Sorry guys, uh, I readjust my camera. All right, Eric Davis rookie card. Uh, this is uh, something that I acquired uh, last year, and uh, it's one of the iconic cards of uh, the 1980s. So really excited to have that, and uh, hopefully. I could get a, a better centered one in the future. Next card is my uh, Dwight Gooden. Doc Gooden, Dwight Gooden. Uh, same year, uh, 1986. Wait, 1985. 1985 tops, Dwight Gooden. He didn't have a long career, but he had a, he was dominant when he did pitch, especially with the Mets. Next card I have is uh, something you guys are all familiar with, Mark McGuire. This isn't like a Tiffany or anything like that, just the regular tops. Uh, one day, hopefully, I should be able to acquire the tops Tiffany. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's just the regular tops. Next card I want to show you is tops traded, um, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is a uh, number. 1981 1986 tops. Next card I want to show you is not the base card, but it is the Donruss 1986 Jose Canseco. And this isn't the iconic card, but this is the um, highlights of that year. Of course, the uh, the iconic one is Donruss 86 uh, base card. Uh, number 29 in my list is Barry Larkin. Uh, like I said, 1987, uh, regular tops. Like I said, there's no order in which, you know, I'm just kind of going chronological. Uh, not exactly, but somewhat, okay? All right, next card I have on my list is Robbie Alomar, 1988. Uh, it looks kind of like a mugshot, but this is one of the cards that I had since, oh man, I want to say like early 90s, late 80s. I had that card even before I knew how good he was. Um, yeah, that was this card. Next card I have, I acquired this one again next to last year, Greg Maddox. And uh, this is the Rookies uh, 1987 Donruss. Once again, not the base card, but the Rookies. All right, next card on the list is a, somewhat of an iconic card. Once again, it's just a regular tops, but it's Ken Griffey Jr., 1989 tops. And the next one on the list, uh, maybe equally as iconic, is uh, Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr., 1989. And to top it off, I want to go with uh, Ken Griffey Jr., 1980. Uh, man, what is this? Oh, that one, this one, 1990. This one's uh, 1989. Tops traded Ken Griffey Jr. That's the real rookie card. This is the second year card, Gold Cup rookie card. 
Okay, this is a. I think this is a second year card or a first year card. Randy Johnson. 1990. Randy Johnson. And this is a Randy Johnson rated rookie. Um, Donruss 1988. Uh, 89. Donruss. Alright. Kind of lost track of what number it is, but we'll keep going. Uh, Sammy Sosa, 1990. This is uh, one of my favorite cards. I think I acquired this last year as well. Alright, this is another iconic card. Frank Thomas. Once again, not Topps Traded, not Topps Tiffany. But, uh... Frank Thomas. Regular Topps. And... Speaking of Frank Thomas, we got another one. Frank Thomas, um... Bowman, 1990, rookie, and uh, this is a card I had probably for another, another like, hmm, 20 years, 25 years, yeah, anyways, this is a Craig Biggio rookie card, 1989, Donruss, I love the design of these cards, um, I know it's hard to get graded in a good grade, because the centering issues and it chips a lot, but um, I really like those cards. I believe this is another rookie, John Smoltz, John Rush, 1989. And uh, I really like these cards, these next two cards, but because of the way the, <laughs> the way the players look. Uh, Kurt Schilling, I've had this card forever, but this is before I knew that Kurt Schilling was a star. And uh, he, he belongs in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he's ever gonna make it, but he should make it because his numbers are, are lights out. Another card that I really like because of the way it looks is uh, Tom Glavin, 1988. Uh, this is a really funny looking card because he looks so young. <laughs> he looks like a little kid. But him and uh, Smoltz, they look like little, you know, really young young people. That's part of partly why I like it so much. Um, next card is uh, Mike Messina, 1991 score. Yeah, really nice looking card. Next card on the list is Derek Jeter. I don't have too many Jeters, but the ones I do have, um, they are among my favorites. I have a couple uh, out on PSA to be graded, so hopefully I get good grades on those. And this is another Jeter that I have. It's uh, a little bit later, I think it's 1993. Sorry, this is 1994. I believe this is 1995. All right, next one, Mike Piazza. I don't have too many Piazzas, but uh, the Mike Piazza that I have is a rookie, 1993. Uh, here's another rookie by another Dodger. The Dodgers should have kept them, but they ended up uh, getting trading him. Pedro Martinez, and they uh, regretted the day that they traded him. Rookie 1993 Fleer Ultra. All right, next we will go to Mr. Manny Ramirez. Uh, later on, he became a Dodger with Donruss 1992, the rookies. Uh, this is Topps version, I believe 1992 Topps. Drop pick, Danny Ramirez. And we are hitting the home stretch. These are among my favorite cards. Um, this is a Donruss Greg Maddox. Uh, the, f the Leaf version is looks the same, but it's a little more desirable than that. And uh, anyway, that's a good card. Uh, Donruss Mark McGuire is next. Don't miss Mark McGuire. I've had this card forever. This is uh, one of my top cards as well. Okay, let's see. Alright, final six cards that I have on the list. And this is a card I got a long time ago. This is uh, Topps 1985 Kirby Bucket Rookie. Um, this one I bought for about 18 bucks before I knew if it you know what kind of card it was 
uh, whether it's centered or not I had no idea um, it's really off center if you look at it but anyways uh, this is a card that I've held on to I bought it for probably 16 bucks 18 bucks back in 1993 or 4 or 5 something like that I thought I'd look old so I was like yeah this is a nice card Kirby Puckett was one of my favorite players anyways that's one of my top cards and the final five cards that I got here um, are a little bit more scarce and they're a little more special but here we go Daryl Strawberry OPG um, looks exactly the same as the tops except the logo is OPG instead of tops 1984 1984 uh, OPG. So these will be a little bit more scarce than the other cards, um, the tops version. So that is my top five, the five number five card that I have. Number four card, drum roll please. Bill Barry Bonds Refractor. Tops Refractor. Uh, this is not a rookie card. Uh, this is a 03 Tops Chrome Refractor, and uh, yeah, this is part of the purchase that I had um, a couple months ago, and I was uh, just rummaging through some uh, uh, boxes, and I found that, and I was like, what the heck, that's a nice card. So, a little more scarce than the regular. It's not a rookie, but one of my favorite cards right now. Alright, uh, next top three cards are really special to me. I purchased them this year and uh, they are more scarce than the other cards that I've had. This is the number three card. Barry Bonds, Topps Tiffany. Topps Tiffany, Barry Bonds, uh, 1987 Topps Tiffany. And if you can see the back, it's a white um, cardboard. And uh, it's pretty well centered. It got a near mint eight. But yeah, to me, the top and the bottom is a little off-centered, more to the top than the bottom, but this is a pretty good, well-centered card overall. So this is one of my favorites. Let me leave it on this side. Yo, Daryl. Daryl's falling down. Okay. Uh, next card that I do like is... My second favorite card, these are a toss up, but okay. My second favorite card is you've seen them before. This is uh, one of three cards that I got graded or that I bought that was already graded. This is the Leaf 1987 Barry Bonds um, Mint 9. This is the highest graded card I've had, and this one is. Leaf. It's not the regular Donruss. It looks exactly the same except that the, the logo is a little bit different. It's the Canadian version of Donruss. So, yeah. Leaf Mint 9 PSA. And the final card on my list of favorite cards, top 35, is Drumroll, please. Alright, Opeachy, 1987 Opeachy Berry Bonds. I know the top five is four out of five of them are all Berry Bonds, but I think Berry Bonds is a huge player. I know he did steroids, but and I know he played against the hated Giants along later on. I'm a Dodgers fan by the way. But you cannot deny that he was truly a special player, even before he did steroids. He got Hall of Fame numbers. So, Opichi 1987. This is a near mint 7, near mint plus 7.5 Opichi on SGC. So, I might have this reslab later on, but man, this is a beautiful card. Especially because it's Opichi. Opichi is notorious for having really poorly cut cards, really rough edges, everything. So you can see that the bottom of this is a little bit thinner than the top. It's miscut a little bit slightly, 
but um, to get it centered like this or better is pretty hard to achieve. So if you look at Opichi 1987, because they're so scarce, they go for above, you know, 9.9 mint .9, um, nine and above is like thousands of dollars. Uh, mint 10 goes for over. Oh man, last time I saw it's like three thousand dollars or so or over. So these are really hot cards, and Barry Bonds is one of the most dominant hitters of all all time, in my opinion, of all time. All right, so that's my top uh, 35 cards, and uh, I hope you guys join me on this uh, journey and uh, see to see uh, how my collection matures and uh, hope you guys could go on this journey with me and I hope you guys uh, are enjoying your collections as well and could improve your uh, collections and top cars as well so yeah that's pretty much it um, top five I'm really 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 happy with this uh, list of cards uh, once again, Opichi Daryl Strawberry. I did not get that graded. Uh, 1990, uh, 2003 Barry Bonds Refractor. I don't have many refractors, uh, notable refractors at least. Uh, uh, 1987 Leaf Barry Bonds mi uh, Midnight. And uh, Top Tiffany Near Mint 8 PSA. And uh, finally, 7.5 SGC Near Mint Plus Barry Bonds. OPG. This may be my holy grail card in uh yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh I hope you enjoy collecting your cards and have a blessed 2021. Alright, God bless guys. Take care. Bye.